this car worth it? Yeah, no traction whatsoever. What's up guys and welcome back to another video. We're in the M340i. If you guys haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button right now. And we're gonna talk about, well, it's not a specific video, but I wanted to do this video of, is this car worth it? And we're gonna do it as a POV style. And let me tell you, this car, as short as I can give you, I'm not gonna give you a long freaking answer. Simple answer is, Yes, this car is definitely worth it. Actually, the prices of these cars are actually going down. So if you guys wait it out for like another two years, bro, they might even hit like in the 30s, high 30K. I got this car for 50K out the door with taxes and everything included. And with, if you guys want me to do a video on how much I pay a month, I'm willing to do it. For all the youngsters i mean i'm young too myself but you know everybody's wondering everybody wonders how much i pay for this car and i haven't done a video for it and i feel like i've been giving you guys blue balls because <laughs> i keep saying i'm gonna do it and i never end up doing it but dude no this car is definitely 100 percent worth it and this it's easy bro like if you guys know and you guys are on the car scene you guys know this car is a b58 four door supra basically <laughs> same thing the the supra has and it, it's just crazy what the potential this car has um i wouldn't trade this car for anything like i buy my cars i buy them for a reason and i'm not willing to trade them for anything else i mean maybe in the future i might get another car if this channel blows up bro like if i get more money in i'm definitely considering getting that third car and then just I don't know which car, but I actually want a V8. I want a V8 for my next car, and that's what it is. Bro, so this car is just nasty. And I actually don't have gas. If you guys don't know, this has a downpipe MHD OTS Stage 2 with E40 mix. And this car pushes power for just being an OTS. If. I was custom tuned this car would do better but right now i'm not really like i'm not really what's it called in the rush to go custom tune the only reason is because nobody really custom tunes on mhd so i would have to change over to boot mod or you uh you could take and you could take you need a separate unlock on the ecu so if you guys are lucky and pick up a 2020 you, all you guys need is a bench unlock, which is the best part. If you guys get newer ones, you guys know, you guys have to send it over to Finland and do all that nasty stuff. It's like $2,000 just to get it unlocked. I mean, if you guys don't really care about the gear, get a 2020. There's plenty of out there with the with low mileage. I mean, but there are, I've seen some for like 50K, not out the door, but with taxes and everything, it's probably like 55K. But I got lucky with this one. Honestly, when I bought this car, I said I was gonna go look at it, but I really wanted this car so bad. And they were trying to make me put money down and I do not put, I do not believe in putting money down in cars. So, so simple, I was like, no money down, give me the right price. We made it work and guess what? I've had this car since February. So yeah, I've had this in February. It's been like, what, 10 months already? And I've, let's not jinx it, but I've actually had no problems with this car. Nothing's expensive. The only expensive mod that I have in this car is the taillights, and that was $800. Like, <laughs> do I regret getting the taillights? To be honest, like, it makes it look nice, but it was not something I really needed. I could've probably used, used that money for something else on the car, and, Oh, and also, I got a steering wheel. I got my steering wheel finally. It's finally in. I've been waiting for two months. Two months, it was in the making, and it finally came in. If you guys don't know, it's carbon fiber right here, carbon fiber right here. Everything this is carbon fiber, stock OEM airbag, stock buttons, 
and then I have the the lights on here, the RPM lights. I wanted that since the beginning. I wanted one for my Subi, but I already have a carbon fiber one for that, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna leave that alone. <sighs> I'm just in love with this car, like just with the downpipe and the state and the freaking. You guys hear that? tires are not good I actually do burn tires on these like I tend to swing it sometimes and I love doing that but we got to get some new tires I'm running Continentals on these <laughs> and they did not get traction at all that was like I don't know what roll that was I think that was a 35 or 40 I was losing traction but eventually caught it when you run, when you do some rolls in Mexico, make sure your traction is off because your car is gonna try to catch traction and then it's gonna slow you down and then you're gonna lose a run. This car just picks up so good. Like, it's not even funny. And the brakes on these cars are so good, too. You guys think that's a lot of pop and main, but that is literally on soft mode. Literally on soft mode. I don't want to change it because it's, this thing is already too loud. I actually do want to get a draggy for this car. So yes, a lot of people want to get these cars and I don't blame them. Like, I know these cars are kind of in a trend and dude, I honestly don't blame the people that want to get this car. These cars are fantastic for the price. Nothing too crazy. And it's actually been raining here, so. I'm gonna have to head back, man. <laughs> That's so crazy how this car just pops. For no reason, too. See, we thought it was like the fastest thing on the road, but BMW just did a fantastic job with this.
so you're wondering if this car is worth it i'm saying hell yes 100 percent this car is worth it go ahead and cop yourself an m340i as of today yesterday tomorrow next week but dude i recommend this car 100 percent I love this car. I wouldn't trade any car for this. Not even an S58, bro. S58s are mad expensive and I cannot afford that. They're like 100K brand new MSRP. So yeah, this car is the best thing for your money. And if you guys haven't hit the subscribe button, if you guys watched the whole video, thank you guys. And if you guys haven't or just like watching the POV, thank you guys anyways. Thank y'all for almost we're like almost close to 2,000 subscribers, man. That's crazy. I remember when I had like 500 subs or like I started off with like 200 subs. It's so like, oh, it's just crazy. I'm on the road to 10K subs. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see you guys on the next video.